Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing, and this is our technical video report for Thursday, August 31st, 2023. So the we saw a little bit of selling to uh, end the month. I think it might have been just some uh, you know relocating some assets uh, from money managers and stuff like that. But um, the pattern that I'm following uh, that I've been showing is this this pretty big uh, head and shoulders pattern. I don't know if it's going to play out, but if it does what we'd be looking for is a move down to the neckline which would bring us right around that that 43.75 43.80 and then from there that would we'd get a bounce into this resistance zone and then down and that would make the right shoulder now this is a pretty big uh head and shoulders pattern and if it is in play uh we're probably looking at a move coming all the way down uh probably down to this 4100 level i would say because this is the, the the neckline is is at 43.83. It's about 170 points, so it's going to bring us uh, 43, 42, yeah, right in that for in the 4200 level. So this it may take a while to play out. Now, if you know September and October are historically not good months for the market, and uh, you know if it if it is going to play out, it will probably drag out during like those months. And uh, I still nothing has really changed. I know that we're we're seeing a lot more bullish people out there because of the uh, revision of the economic numbers that we're seeing. And it, it's they brought the market up because they were thinking that the, you know, we, we're, we're not going to go into a recession. And because the, the economic numbers were good. Now what happens is we, we have these revisions because everything is seasonally adjusted. It, it's just a bunch of BS, let's just say. Uh, so, there, you know, you have the, the Biden administration that's, uh, you know, counting about the jobs market and stuff like that. But, you know, once this gets revised, I, I really think people are going to start panicking. But the thing is, is that they're, you know, they, right now they're they're buying they were buying the market on on this on the weak uh, economic numbers because they're thinking that the Fed's going to come in and start lowering rates. And that's not going to happen. Uh, I know a lot of people are wishing for it. I know um, uh, probably a lot of money managers and, and financial advisors. The only market they know is a market that the Fed is in. And they're, you know, they're waiting for it. And, and the thing is, is that, you know, if, I don't I don't see inflation coming down anytime soon. And, the you know, the Fed may stop raising rates. But if it's, you know, if they just stay up here. What's the difference? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, if they jack them up a little bit higher or they just stay up at these levels, uh, it, it's the money's still kind of freezing up. And eventually, you know, when if we're going into a recession, which I, I do believe we are, um, why would you be, you know, jumping into uh, to try and buy this market just because you think the Fed's going to come back in? The, the, the Fed won't step in until the market is down in the 40, you know, probably down in the 4,000 level, maybe even a little bit lower than that. That's when the Fed may stop, step in. But I, right now, it, it's just not, it, it's not in the cards. And I don't know why um, these pundits on TV just keep coming out and saying, you know, the Fed's going to stop and we're going to start, they're going to start loosening again. And I, I just don't, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not the smartest one out there, but I, I can tell you this, that that what they're they're suggesting and putting into people's heads is not going to happen. So right now we don't really have any bearish divergences. What we have a little bit, you can see after this top, we 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 saw the uh, momentum starting to come down, and then we made another hot. We ran, uh, we, then we made another high, which we ran right into the uh, the resistance zone. Now remember, this is the you know that that um, reverse symmetrical triangle pattern. And you can see we came very, very close to the top of it. So, you know, we, we have some economic, uh, some job numbers coming out tomorrow. I do believe it's going to be market moving. Um, typically, you know, the first day of the month is, is typically on the bullish side. And on top of that, we're also going into a long weekend, which I've been saying the bulls really like to use the low volume to, uh, you know, to try to jack up the markets. I don't know if it's going to happen like this again, but just historically, that that's what happens. But I can see it's just really going, making some big moves up and down, and and getting setting up maybe another divergence, like a, a better, a more defined one. So if we came down and came back up again, to t you know maybe even take out these highs and make it up to the uh, right around the, that 40, 45, 40 level, 
uh, that would set up the nice divergences. It'd still be making the head of this uh, of, of the head and shoulders pattern. And then from there, we you know we, we should see a very quick move down to the uh, somewhere around that 4380 and then a bounce and then down again. So that's really it. But you can see that the important support right here is going to be down at the uh, 4463 level. Um, if the, you know, I, we, I could actually see a little bounce and then once that gives up, see some panic selling down to the, down to these, uh, to the neckline. So we got to keep an eye on this for support right around that 43, uh, 40, uh, 4460. Um, that's going to be important. Um, if we look at the 15 minute chart, so the bulls tried to gap it up one more time again today. And we, you know, we, we got up and, and there was some pretty good buying going on or short covering. And you can see these defined bearish divergences here. So this was, I, I was going to send out, I was going to say that to look to short, but like I said, going into the uh, the first trading day of the month and a long weekend, I was a little hesitant. So I'm going to keep an eye on things tomorrow. And if I see something shaping up, I will take that position. But right now, um, you know, you can see the bulls are buying the moving average here. So once this gives, then it should have a quick move again down to that 44.65 level. Most likely buyers will be waiting here because we do have support as well as the moving average. So maybe a little bounce back up into resistance and then down again. Uh, and it really, my downside target's going to be down at that uh, 43.80. So let's see what plays out uh, tomorrow. Um, and have a nice night. And I will talk to you guys in the morning.